back to my channel it's your girl Nats and I hope everyone is happy healthy and doing okay all right so yes I am coming to you from my living room floor and I am here to tell you about the expectation versus reality of changing schools and working at an elementary school in Japan all right so if you want to know what it's like to work in an elementary school in Japan as an ALT then keep on watching we cannot go ahead in the video unless we do our magnificent fam shout out so that is what we are going to be doing right now so I have my box shake it up ah <sighs> my hand is like paining <laughs> and I refuse to set the, the, the camera down on a tripod all right, so I have a paper. This week's Natsnificent Fam shout out goes to Amelia McNaughton. And her comment on my video was, that looks scary, but fun. Seems like I have to take a visit there someday. This comment was left on my South Korea travel vlog. If you guys have not seen it yet, I will link it right up here for you guys to see after you finish checking this video out. Amelia, big up yourself. Thank you for watching my videos. Now guys, back to the video. First things first, I do want to tell you guys that for the two years that I've been in Japan so far, it's actually my first time experiencing elementary school kids. I do have a bachelor's of education um, in the field of teaching for secondary uh, school students. But in Japan, I have been working in junior high schools for the longest while since I've gotten my job. And since moving to this new city, um, obviously there are new boards of education, new schools that want teachers. And because of that, I am now at two elementary schools and one junior high school. So yes, you heard right. I work at three schools here in Japan. I have one main school, which is my junior high school. I go there three days a week. And my other two elementary school, I go to one every Tuesday. And I go to the other every Friday. Now, because I wasn't a person that was working in elementary schools all along since being an ALT here, I have heard stuff. I have heard that in elementary schools, you're in charge of your own lessons. You get to teach the kids. You get to have fun. All sorts of you know glory hallelujah things happen at the elementary school and while i was intrigued by this i was nowhere yearning to go to the elementary school because oh my god i cannot deal with runny kids i don't know how i'm going to manage um when i become a parent and maybe of course i'll change by the time i become a parent but kids constantly running around and you know knows not and just all of the things that like, I cannot so I I really like I loved listening to the elementary school stories and was a little bit jealous because they got to be more hands-on in their school life as opposed to me I'm always complaining that I'm not doing too much they don't need my service I'm sitting at work not doing anything and all of that stuff but it has changed so Going into the new elementary school jobs, I had some expectations and I'm going to be going through all of those expectations with you throughout this video and also the reality of these expectations because as you know, the lockdown in Japan has expired, everything is back to normal, students are coming to school now. So I'm going to be going through all of those expectations with you guys. All right, the first expectations that I had for working in an elementary school was writing lesson plan guys like all of the other ALTs that have worked at elementary schools told me you have to write your own lesson plans you have to you know you have to like create a plan for your class because basically you are in charge the Japanese teachers they don't know English well the English teacher has to know English but they don't know English and so on and to be honest that was not true at the beginning but later down when school reopened i kind of realized what the other alts were saying and let me explain what i mean all right so initially i went into this job thinking that i'll be creating lesson plans from the beginning all right but when I actually got introduced to the schools, it was full-blown coronavirus season and teachers weren't at school, students weren't 
at school of course but there is one Japanese teacher of English I've said that before the JTE uh, the Japanese teacher of English they are really the the main English teacher as you say so my meetings were with that English teacher and during the meetings he would tell my coordinator that um, the teachers will write lesson plans the teachers will know what they're going to do because in my city they have a specific way of teaching they have a specific way of teaching uh, the elementary school kids and the junior high school kids it's totally different from where I was before and I am sure that it is totally different from other areas in Japan too they teach according to a round system where students go through the textbook three times so round one is one thing round two is one thing round three is one thing and they have to go through all nine units of the textbook in each round so the students are getting a whole lot of textbook stuff but each of the rounds have a different target so round one is maybe to target listening how well the students can listen round two something else round three something else so the teacher told my coordinator that um the main english teacher would be in charge of doing all of those things and i was like oh i thought i heard that alts who teach in elementary schools were actually going to be creating lesson plans not so at the beginning but this is where um, the, 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 the sweet part comes in. So I was at school. School reopened after the virus. You know, students are coming back to school. And um, I went to class. And some students came. Because at elementary school, they mostly have English in the English room. So students come to you. You don't go to the students' classes. And after my self-introduction, because the students were meeting me for the first time, so of course you begin with self-introduction. After that, the, the teacher was looking at me like, yeah, it's your time to teach the class, teach the class. And I'm like, standing there, I do not know what to do because, first of all, the English teacher had up this um digital textbook so the textbook is actually digital and no one trained me my company did not train me and the teacher the english teacher that i had meetings with did not tell me or show me how to use this digital textbook so i was just standing here like an idiot and i had to play games with the students um for 45 minutes because i had no idea immediately after that class i went on the phone i told my coordinator that I did not know that I was going to be whatever because no one told me. The teacher said that they would be writing the lesson plans in the initial meeting and I did not prepare for this. Just in case they report to my company in my evaluation that oh this teacher does not know what she's doing. I'm just making my coordinator know that hey this is what happened at school and I had no idea. Alright so and another important thing, I did not see the main English teacher, well, the only English teacher at the school. I did not see him for the entire four lessons that I had that day. The students, the elementary school students, their homeroom teacher, their farm room teacher is the one that brings them to the English room for English class. And those teachers do not know English. So I realized that the ALTs, when they said that the Japanese teachers don't know English and you have to be in charge of your class, I now understand what they mean. They mean they did not explain it to the fact where I understood that it was a student's homeroom teacher that will be in the class with me. I thought that it would be me and the English teacher teaching, similarly as similarly to the routine in the junior high schools. I did not know that it was a student's homeroom teacher that was going to bring them to class and I would be in charge of that class because the homeroom teacher, of course, does not know English. So, yes. You are expected to be in charge of your class. You need to know what to do, what you're going to do, it. do the game plan, everything and all of that stuff beforehand. So I definitely learned my lesson and now I have to prep every time I am going to those schools. All right, the second expectation that I had when entering into this elementary school job is I would be more active. Like I would be an active teacher you know nurturing the future generation i always preach that you know working at a junior high school is pretty boring because the teachers don't really call on you to do much they already know what they're doing and they know what they're about and usually they're about just the the, the textbook so you know you're just basically you know standing and sitting around there just waiting to be called on really 
and based on stories I heard that in the elementary school you'll be more active because for one you're in charge of your classes no you get to plan and execute your lessons however way you like as long as you're teaching the unit or teaching the topic that the students are supposed to be learning so that is what I expected and to be honest guys the reality of this is I am being more active I am seeing myself teaching like four classes back to back in a row there are six sessions for a school day four before lunch and two after lunch and I find myself teaching for the four sessions before lunch I am so tired because the students are not like junior high students they're not teenagers that just sit and you know say yes and no and okay okay no they're active they want to play they're talking all sorts of stuff so you have to be a clone and while I enjoy that because really I have not I have a boring job here when I work at junior high schools I'm enjoying it so definitely yes I am being more active since working at an elementary school in Japan the third expectations guys that I had when you know entering into this elementary school line of work is bigger schools oh my god no because I know that the elementary school is in Jamaica it is similar to primary schools where you have grades 1 to 6 it's the same in Japan just a different name elementary school so because in my head I say alright it's six grades of students so there has to be a lot of students because even though it's grade 1 to 6 it does not mean that it is one class per grade so just like Jamaica you may have 2a 2b 2d 2c 2 1 2 2 it's the same thing in Japan so the most I've seen a class per grade is like four classes Adam taught at a school that was very big and like grade sevens have four there were four different grade seven classes and for me I taught like three different classes per grade so entering into the elementary school I believed that because it was way more students than grade seven to nine it's grades one to six so obviously there are like three more you know sets of students here um there will be more students basically but the reality of this is there are actually small elementary schools also and that might have been very um illogical of me to think that all uh, the elementary schools would be big because really and truly in some countrysides in japan there are hardly any people so why would there be a big elementary school that was crazy of me to believe but the reality is the two elementary schools that i work uh one of them is big so average size with three classes per grade and the other one is very small with only one class per grade so there is only one grade one class one grade two class right up to grade six and then the bigger one that I work at it's like three classes per grade so three grade one classes three grade two classes and so on so that was an eye-opener for me I really did not think that they were smaller elementary schools simply because more grades more kids that was what was in my head i was totally wrong so the next expectation that i had when transitioning to the elementary school workplace is bolder kids now when i say bolder i mean talkative kids not shy because guess what they're young they're wild they're free and i just think that the interaction hold on i just think that the interaction with these kids would be way over the top and top notch and just fun but actually guys the reality of this when i hit the classroom a few weeks ago is that there are shy kids too in elementary school like i walked into a class well not walked in students came to some students came to one of my classes and i'm like good morning everyone and they were just sitting at me like who are what, what good morning and i'm like no man good morning everyone good morning and they were so dead and i'm like wow this shocked me because i just thought that all the elementary school kids were you know gigi and nice like they drink a bag of rum but didn't drink a bag of rum okay <laughs> I crap myself up sometimes I swear so yes guys like there are shy kids too in in elementary schools and I was not expecting that silly of me you might think but you know what 
my expectation is my expectation and you are not going to at me for my expectation okay i am being a child right now right <laughs> oh, anyway moving right along the next expectation that i had about working in the elementary school system is same work hours for same school hours for the students and what i mean by this is that in the junior high school school begins at the same time for everyone and school ends at the same time for everyone but the reality at my schools is that like on my schedule i see where when school dismisses like school starts at the same time for everyone obviously but the dismissal aspect of it is a little more tricky so on my schedule i see where like the grade ones and the grade twos will leave at a particular time and then the grade threes and the grade fours leave at like maybe 15 minutes later or something like that i mean school ends at say 3 30 even though students even though school ends at three o'clock you will find that on my schedule i see like um at 2 30 and my window is open so if you're hearing the crazy bike that's passing on the roadside i am sorry um so on my schedule i see where school ends at say three o'clock and grade ones and twos leave between three o'clock and three fifteen and then grades three and four leave school between three twenty and three thirty and i'm like why would they do this why would they have students leaving at different time and it might just be that they do not want the road to be because some students do travel by bike and like walk because some of them live close to school so maybe it's in an effort to prevent a whole lot of kids on the road walking maybe there is a higher risk of accidents and all of that so they send them home by grades i think that's a brilliant idea if that's what they do but while i thought that all the elementary schools did this i asked adam because he's actually working at four elementary schools i asked him if his students leave separately and he said no so maybe it is just that particular school that i work at that is sending their students home at different times for different grades so that was really something to notice i am not sure why they do it but that is what i have experienced and why is my emoji pillar even laughing at me right now like like bro why are you laughing at me i'm trying i'm trying encourage me can't you sure all right guys and the next expectation that i had about the element i wasn't looking at you guys my eyes were closed <laughs> The next expectation that I have about that I had about the elementary school system is that the JTE will know little English. And as I said in my very very first the expectation that I listed here, the JTE will at my schools they are at the same level as the junior high school English teachers. So they're not worst off. But what happens is because I am not teaching directly with the English teacher anymore in the elementary schools as I would in the junior high schools, I am actually in class with the student's homeroom teacher and they have absolutely no English ability because they are teachers of other subjects. They just happen to be homeroom teachers for the grade fives. So for example, you are a social studies teacher at Ocherius High School and um, you so happen to be the form teacher of grade seven R. It does not mean that you know any other subject. You just know the subject that you teach. And that is really the case. So in the case of that, yes, the Japanese homeroom teachers that are taking these elementary student, elementary school kids to class do not know English because it is not their field but the English teacher at the school knows just as much English as the English teacher in the junior high school that's what I have observed and the next expectation that I had about working in the elementary school system is that the lessons will be more fun and why I say this is because, of course, as I said, I was told that you're in charge of your own lessons. You do your own thing. You plan your lessons how you want. Things can go your way. Finally, because in the junior high school, God knows that cannot happen. Hallelujah. 
so yeah i was really expecting the lessons to be more fun and guess what the lessons are more fun because you are now in charge you get to put your expertise you get to put your your um personality into your lessons you get to jump up and be a clone and be let the students laugh at you so you can you know let them have a nice little atmosphere a nice the environment so they want to learn english and all of those stuff while still meeting the target of today's listener the target of the textbook or whatever i like to incorporate games because the students oh my god they are like babies they're like first graders and second graders and third graders like none of those kids want to sit down for 45 50 minutes just looking at a teacher talk 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 they want to have fun and so yes i i, I think the lessons are are more fun now that i'm in the elementary school system because i have more chance of making the lesson my own and again of course if I do miss up and say something that is totally wrong like a grammar point or something no one will know because guess what the, the, the homeroom teacher does not know English so for all she knows I'm right <laughs> not saying that I'm trying to give students misinformation all right I'm just saying if any mistakes do happen I have a chance to correct it in my own way and not have some people looking at me like I thought you were a native English speaker you know yes <laughs> and that is it from me guys those were my expectations versus the reality of working in the japanese elementary school system i do hope you found it informative i do hope it helps you in your transition to japan or just really give you some insight as to what teaching in the elementary school system in japan is like if you enjoyed this video guys please remember to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and hit the notification bell to get notified every time i post a video that's it and i'll see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>